everybody! I'm Miss Janet and I'm with the Glendale Library, the Velma Teague branch. And I'm very excited today to share with you a really fun and easy craft for the grab and go for May. And it's called 3D Fish. I have some right here that I've made. I got a little crazy making fish and I couldn't stop myself. And um, they're 3D because look, oh, you can make them bend, you can make them swim, they could dive. So you'll have a lot of fun with these after you make them. It's fun making them, but it's fun playing with them too. Go to your library, pick up a kit, one of the four branches will have them. You will get the instruction sheet in your kit, and you will also get a square piece of paper. They come in four different colors, so you can pick out a color you want when you get there. And you'll have the piece of paper, this template for the fish mouth, and then this template that has the inside of the fish mouth. Uh, the tail fin and the side or the pectoral fins, and of course, the eyes. And so you'll need to cut all those out, and then you'll be doing some folding and some gluing. At home, you'll need scissors, cut, 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 and glue stick, okay? So if you've got all that and you got your kit, you're ready to go. So let's get started. Okay, so I have all of my supplies out here that you'll get in the kit and uh, what you'll need at home. And this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna set that aside because I've already cut out the pieces to save time. And they are right here. So um, I cut out the fish mouth, the inner fish mouth, the pectoral, and the tail fins, and the eyes. So I will go ahead and set these over here, and then we'll start with folding. You take your square piece of paper, and then you will fold it into a triangle, point to point just like that, and then crease it really good. Crease, crease, and then open it up. Kind of origami-like. And then you'll have this crease in the middle, then you wanna take this and fold it in to the crease. So kind of kite like paper airplane type folding right here. And then you're gonna do the other side the same way. Take this in and fold it. And, okay, crease, crease, crease. And then open it back up. All right, then you've got this and you wanna take this end, you gotta fold there, fold there, fold there. Take this point and again, make a triangle and right there. And then you are going to take this and a pair of scissors. I'm using the long scissors. And you want to cut evenly, starting at, this will be the tail, this will be the head. So you're gonna work your way up. Start about, oh, an inch from the edge and cut to the fold, this fold right here. And then you want to cut evenly. I do, oh, quarter to a half inch. Do one more. Okay, so now you got all these cuts. Open it up. going to give you your 3D effect and you're going to make it like into a cone. You want to take this triangle and this one and overlap them so you got that cone kind of shape. And then take the glue, glue stick, and 
all over this side up to the fold, the triangles, not the cut part. You want to glue the triangles together. Come back up here. And then put it together. That. And I take my scissors and just kind of go into tamp it down a little bit and make the pieces stick together. So there's the bottom. So you see then it's making that 3D kind of bendy thing. And at this point you could go ahead and cut the point off of the fish head or nose or whatever you want to call it so that it's rounded. This is the tail fin, so we want to put a little bit of glue, glue stuck right here. And carefully down on that. Glue it on. And then this is going to go up here. that to the inside that and then you want to take the inside part just kind of the inside of the mouth make it complete glue all over this and then put it right inside of that whatever color you have blue pink green or orange so that he's got the inside of his mouth right there then the last step is the eyes. So go ahead and glue stick eyes. You can place them however you want. All right, there is one. And here's a second one. So that you know, one on each side there. And then he looks pretty happy. I love my happy little blue fish. And there you have it. See? Pretty quick and easy. And that is your 3D grab and go fish. So I hope you have fun and enjoy the craft and enjoy playing with your fish afterwards too. Bye everybody. Happy crafting.